What is 2 to the exponent 10? We have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 5 times is 32. It's good to memorize that. Next, we get 64, 128, 256, 512, and 1024. We have another 5 twos, which is 2 to the 10, which we memorize to be 1024, 1024. What is negative 2 to the 4? A negative number to an even exponent is positive. So right away, we know the answer is positive. And 2 to the 4 is 16. This question is the same thing as saying negative 1 times 2 to the 4. So the answer is definitely negative. And 2 to the 4 is 16. What is 0 to the 1 plus 1 to the 0? 0 to the anything is just 0. 0 cubed equals 0 times 0 times 0, which is 0. 0 squared is 0 times 0, which is 0. And 0 to the 1 is also 0. In general, anything to the 0 is 1. When we have 1 cubed, we have 1 times 1 times 1. 1 squared, we have 1 times 1, which is also 1. And 1 to the 1 is 1. And as we decrease the power, we divide by 1. So we go from 3 1's to 2 1's to 1 1. But we're just dividing by 1. 1 divided by 1 is simply 1. So 1 to the 0 is 1. And 0 plus 1 is 1. Now it's interesting to note that when we have 2 cubed, we have 2 times 2 times 2. And we have 2 squared, we have 2 times 2. And 2 to the 1, we have just 1, 2. So each time we decrease the power by 1, we divide by 2. So 2 to the 0 is also 1, because 2 divided by 2 is 1. In general, most numbers to the 0 is just 1. 3 to the 0 is 1. In fact, even 1.5 to the 0 is 1. And so is the square root of 2 to the exponent 0, which is also 1. When the base is 0, we write down 0. 0 cubed is 0 because we have 0 times 0 times 0, which is just 0. When we have 0 squared, we have 0 times 0, which is also 0. And 0 to the 1 is 0. In general, when the base is 0, we have the answer 0. However, when the exponent is 0, such as 3, 3 becomes 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27, we have 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, which is 9. We divide by 3. 3 to the 1 is just 3. We divide by 3. And 3 to the 0 is 3 divided by 3, which is 1. Anything to the 0 is 1. So 0 to the 0, is it 1 or is it 0? We can't make up our mind. So we say the answer is undefined. Here we have negative 3 times negative 3 squared. We must do the exponents first. So negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. We have negative 1 to an even exponent. So therefore, the answer must be positive. 1 to the anything is simply 1. According to bed mass, we must do the exponents before we multiply. So we have 3 times, and do the exponents, 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9. So the final answer is 12 over 9, which can be simplified dividing by 3 to be 4 over 3.
We have a negative exponent, so we can rewrite with a positive exponent in the denominator. So the answer is 1 over 8.